Welcome back to the Type Here. I'm Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the G.I. Joe Classified fan stream, live stream, leap day, leap stream. And i got to say a few things about it. First of all, I think that it's the right amount of stuff. It's not like a ton, and it's not going to be so little that it's not worthwhile, but it's not so much that it's going to be too expensive and too wallet breaking. I think it's a pretty nice amount, and it's pretty fair. Pre-orders are going up. I'm going to talk about all this stuff. I'm going to tell you what I pre-ordered, what I think of each figure, where I pre-order this stuff. We'll talk about this and more. Coming up. All right, so first off, I want to talk about the actual pre-orders that are up, the items that they're actually showing, the real figure, the real item, not just the renders. But first one, Naga Hide here. He is going to be a deluxe at $45, coming with two animals and that's kind of been the price point for one animal so he comes with quite a bit to maintain that deluxe price point i think he looks pretty good uh his face he looks like he's kind of mean look like he's all lower teeth with these giant mutton chops going on right there but really cool look to it and yeah i think they pulled him off really well they put a lot of work a lot of effort into making him look really good here he is it shows his loadout and all the stuff that he comes with and the packaging and looking at the packaging, I think that two things, it's it's kind of simplified, but you get to see the figure. So would I prefer this or some crazy artwork and not see the figure? I prefer this all day long, and so it's fine. I would like a little bit more interesting stuff. They were doing some interesting stuff with the packaging, and then some of the stuff that even has windows is pretty interesting, but now it's kind of gotten a little bit on the bland side, but not a big deal. And looking down there, of course, you got the two little animals he comes with, a removable hat. He's got his, what appears to be a sniper rifle, his bow and arrows quiver, and he's got the rifle case. And then, of course, he has his signature weapon with his uh, two, two daggers, and he's got that giant machete. I don't know why I'm not saying it right. It looks like kind of like a machete kind of thing. Anyway, cool looking figure overall, and I'm definitely picking it up. I did pre-order one at BBTS. Next up, we're going to have Tiger Force. Now, this is Roadblock and Tripwire. So these are reissues, just recolors in a two-pack. And I think it's like $55 for the two-pack. But I have to say that I did not get in on the pre-order either at either one of the places. There's Target and there was Pulse. And both are sold out before I ever got around to it. But Target's usually good about having plenty of the Tiger Force stuff these days. And it's not too big of a deal. But looking at them, they both look really good. And really, if you missed out on the Amazon version of Roadblock, or I don't know, he, that might still be up. I don't even know. But this would work too. This would work great. I think that the Amazon one was good. This one looks really good. And then Tripwire himself. I mean, it looks cool. And this is reminiscent of of tiger force either you're in on tiger force or you're not and if you're in i'm sure you like these because i know i do or you're not in on it you're just going to pass so it really doesn't matter here's the packaging and kind of showing the loadout and everything that they come with and it looks pretty cool so it's a it's a pretty good looking set here of course the you know the packaging is the packaging and if you're in on it you're in on it if you're not you're not but i'm i'm kind of happy how we're kind of going back to the way things were when it comes to the packaging and I'm hoping that we can get our hands on these pretty easy once it's released, even if you missed out on the pre-orders. But cool looking set overall, and getting his classic gun, is do they call it Modus? It's, it's awesome. Now Jinx is a figure that I was disappointed in the renders. I did not like the renders, but you know, reluctantly, of course, I made my mind up that I am going to get her, of course, but I like the figure. I like the figure more than the render. And so she does pay a lot of homage to the vintage toy, but a modern flair, which is exactly what G.I. Joe Classified should be. And I think it looks great. She looks fantastic. Also, she gets more head, gives more, gets more heads, uh, two heads, so that she can have her masked face. But a lot of people are complaining about the sleeves being kind of sleeveless, but showing off the tattoo with there, I guess it's okay. Not 100% an homage to the classic figure, but uh, still good enough. Good enough. I'm happier with it than I was with the renders, and I'm going to leave it at that. I bet you, though, they do some sort of paint scheme, paint apps, when it comes to 
a retro version of her. So this is the first one we're looking at with a standard packaging, the $25 price point, and it's okay. This is what we're going to be seeing on the shelves. So, hey, we might not see any of this on the shelves. They might not, might not make it to retail. They might just be online. Who knows? Or they might not make it retail in your area, or the one case gets sold out right away. Anyway, not enough of that speculation it does come with those weapons and accessories on the side there, and pretty cool. I like how the sword has a sheath. Those kinds of things are a lot of fun and work really well. She also has the the blindfold that can just slide over her eyes, and uh, they did talk about how they made a, a lower durometer, meaning that it was a softer plastic on those pieces that look like they have ribbon on them so good looking figure overall and i i'm i'm way more pleased with her now next up getting into night creeper and i have i still have my childhood night creeper on the card uh i think i might have opened it and put it back in there but uh it's a cool looking figure back then i was thinking man it's a cool purple ninja just like a really cool looking ninja and i was kind of thinking on the level of storm shadow cool but i don't remember the character in the show or very much at all i just remember having the figure and the figure standing alone as a cool looking figure in gi joe and with that i did pick up a handful of the ten dollar ones actually some of them were five dollars when they made those and i don't for the i guess for the movie or something along those lines but uh, i think those will blend in really well behind this guy and he looks really nice he's got a that uh, stereotypical sword from the vintage. So you had to, obligatory is the word, obligatory sword from vintage. And they say that it's it's laced with poison. This shows his loadout and his package, $25 price point. I did pre-order mine at BBTS, but you get to see the two different swords that he has. He's got his uh, bow, crossbow with a multi different uh, arrows on it, backpack, different hands. So he comes with quite a bit. I mean, he is stacked in there with a lot of stuff. But so was the original figure, though. The original figure had a lot of accessories. And it's kind of right in line with that. But, of course, this is more than the original figure got. But, man, I like it. It looks good. It looks really good. It's another one that I was kind of excited for. But they gave us that that dumbed-down version first. And now we get a full-on version. Looking great. Now we've got Doc. Doc's another one I really liked when I was a kid. And I had him. And I had a stretcher. And I remember... I remember just trying to keep up with the accessories. The stretcher was easy to keep up with. The rest of the accessories, maybe not so much. But uh, yeah, Doc looks good. He doesn't look super classic in retro. I could definitely see them making him in a classic aesthetic, a classic look. But uh, with this, it's classic enough already the way it is. And it feels pretty realistic. And then having the stretcher on his back is kind of cool. We'll see a little more of that. Let's get into the packaging. Here's the packaging and just kind of everything taken off and spread out. So it doesn't really look like a ton of accessories. I mean, his vest, I believe his vest is removable, but I might be completely wrong on that. But I believe it's, that's a, something I didn't really notice if they said it or not. They made a big point about how a couple of the holster items and plug into his vest and they can be moved around and plugged into different parts of his vest if you wanted to and then uh, you do have removable glasses and removable helmet so I could definitely see a more classic version of this coming along down the road and I would be more interested in a more classic but I'm definitely picking them up got them pre-ordered at BBTS and I also want to kind of show this him next to a stretcher and just uh, I thought this was a pretty good picture showing off Doc and it's a great figure the Super 7 one, I think, nailed the cartoon, so this is going for something a bit different than the cartoon, definitely. It still looks great. Next up, Torch, and I've got to say, Torch looks great, and he's... So we're getting, sort of, in this reveal, two more great Dreadnoughts, and it's not really a reveal, this is more just showing what we've already been revealed. I like it, and it's fantastic. This is the one we were waiting on. I wonder how much of this will get turned into the Monkey Wrench. I, I do want to see Monkey Wrench, though, and uh, completing this team will be awesome. They're doing so many Dreadnoughts so fast, working that out. works really well. But if you look at he's got a full-on flamethrower flaming. But what does a flamethrower look like when you're just kind of holding on? You, you, you're not giving it the gas. You just keep it lit. That's how it looks. I never even thought about that. You can swap out the flame effects 
to look make it look like it's just kind of idling right there and it's it's not shooting the flame that is cool now I, I didn't even think about that evidently they did that's awesome here he is in his packaging and showing all of his accessories and all the different flames that you can use so you can have one where he's got a a stream going and then one where it's just more of a flame flaming up and then that little idling flame right there so really cool stuff really good stuff they got going on with this the backpack now this isn't super ultra retro and i wonder if we're going to get a super ultra retro set of at least the three that might be interesting too that would be interesting and think about it down the road once we've got the last dreadnought out people might be wanting to go back and get the main three again and i could see that as a retro offering okay so next up we're going to talk about the gi joe classified hiss techno viper and hms so you're going to get a hiss Techno Viper and an HMS, $75. Now, I feel like it's a little uh, too expensive. I really felt like this should have been at like a $55 price point. Other people disagree with me, but when you really look at it, it's probably some hollow shells put together and some hollow missiles, but it still looks cool. It still looks interesting. At $75, though, I'm passing on this because I feel it's a little bit too redundant. I don't need this. Other people are buying three, so it just depends on how you collect. It looks really cool. It's very interesting. It's a nice little set. Again, at 55, I would pre-order it. Here we are with the box. I'm not a fan of this artwork. Some people are. I'm not. I would have liked something a little more retro looking, although it is not a retro item. But it is pretty good size, and it's reminiscent of back in the day. But again, uh price price is killer on this thing it it's cool with all the accessories that he gets to and I, I remember all this from back in the day but not in this color scheme of course but it's very reminiscent of the even the vintage accessories that came with it so really cool pretty interesting and uh will we get a, it in green for joe's all right now we're going to get into some of the retro stuff so retroing around and with that we've got the eel and this is something that is hopefully it's a godsend hopefully it's easy to get hopefully it's not a crap show when it goes up for pre-order and everywhere sells out immediately because people want eels and i'm not i'm surprised that amazon sold out so fast but i'm also surprised well i'm not really people are ordering 20 of this guy but will they order 20 more because what we're seeing is that it was hard to get the crimson guard but retro crimson guards are shell forming but I think this guy looks great, and I think the original one looked great. I don't see a whole lot of difference between them, but uh, I haven't opened my one that I got my hands on. But I'd probably get three of these just because he looks so cool. And I like the packaging. I like retro packaging. They didn't show that yet, but it looks pretty cool. Next up, we've got Beachhead. And, and here's the weird part. The original Beachhead, I thought he looked good. But I like this so much better than the original Beachhead. I just felt like the original Beachhead was pretty close to what you'd want in the line but this is really spot on with what i would want with this line and so i'd have to pick this up it's not up for pre-order yet or anything like that but pretty exciting he looks pretty good this is this is my beachhead in my mind for my shelf and if the shelf uh the figure stands are nice also a whole lot of great stuff with this i also want to mention the weapons and accessories are more like the vintage toy than the modern era. Uh, wasn't that still in the the kind of Nerf gun accessory era where they were giving them Nerf gun looking accessories? Now we're getting more real world, but actual real world toy from the 80s. Now the next digital render is the Snow Serpent for Retro. And I feel like I'm going to reiterate what everybody else is saying, but I think it looks good. I like it. I actually like this more than what they gave us in that deluxe $35 set. Having this to be $20 or $25, depending on where you get it, when you get it, how you get it. But $25 price point, I think that it's great. And people are going to want a few of these. I think getting three of these is fine. I did get one of the original. And that's I, paying $35 bucks for the one was just kind of a pain. I was like, why? it just feels weird paying that $35. Bucks. But the snowshoes should be tennis rackets with a plug for the foot i mean they really should be 
That's how it was back in the day. And I don't see how that tooling would be so much harder than what they're doing with some of the other stuff that's going on. So I just don't get it. They should have done that. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll have to get that from someone else. But I think these look great. I think this figure looks great. I'm in for three of them. Then we've got the ferret with the uh, Cobra Scout, female Cobra Scout. And I think it looks fantastic. This is exactly what I want. And and here's here's my mentality. I want them to exhaust every vehicle this size. I hope, because Trouble Bubble was 55. I'm hoping this is 55. This is not as big as the, the SMS or HMS. They renamed it to HMS. This isn't that big. And it comes with a figure. It comes with a figure I'm not really that into. I would have rather had a better figure. But it is better. I mean, I would have rather them just throw in an, an extra random Cobra Trooper. And that would have made a lot more sense to me. But this is the route that they're going. And I definitely am in on at least two of these. If the price point is 55 like the trouble level, I'm in on three of these. At 75 I'm only in on two of these. I mean, it's just it's the way it is. It's the way this stuff goes. But looks fantastic uh, this was this was one of my favorite vehicles as a kid not my very favorite but i really enjoyed it just the four-wheeler aspect and just the colors it was just awesome it was a lot of fun back in the day you can cram more than one figure on there and this should fit too right now spanning over here to the name only reveals we do have the dial tone as a name only reveal i, I loved playing with that figure back in the day uh, I don't remember the character from the show so much, so that doesn't resonate with me as much as the toy does. So the more it looks like the toy, the more it will resonate with me. And the Saw Viper, I just don't remember at all. So that's not a thing that I'm too concerned about. But these are name-only reveals. But then we got like a bonus name-only reveal that... Uh, I don't know if she was trying to work it in somehow, some way, or she really did want to give us reparations for telling us bad information in the beginning but she let the frag viper slip so frag viper is coming but she says it's way down the line and it was a name only reveal i know of the frag viper i don't even remember if i had one back in the day as a kid and you're starting to get to like 89 i think with the frag viper but still it's kind of cool it's kind of interesting and i well, I would definitely pick one up. It's it's just that cool. It's that interesting. And I'm wondering what it would look like. So, in recap, I think it was a great set of figures that they revealed. I'm a great set of the vehicles. They're, they're all good vehicles. I don't have anything against the HMS, SMS, but I, I just have something against the price point. A little disappointed in that. But aside from that, I think all of this is good solid reveals going forward and it's not too much it's not too little it's just right the porridge is just right on this but let me know what you think in the comments below like and subscribe and tidy your hanger out